Hi Gemini, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul, Balance and this is your monthly tarot reading for May and uh, it is an extended reading so it's going to cover all of your general energies and uh, if you want love and romance I'm going to be doing that mid-month, yeah? Now just remember it is a general reading so take from it what you will. If you'd like a personal reading with me to change your own energy and circumstances the link is on this video and in the description box below. I will be doing a special for this month, so for a 30-minute reading, you can get one with me for just $50, yeah? So I check that out. All right, first up, I'm going to be pulling you a card from the uh, Heart and Soul deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. All about your, uh, it's either going to be about love and romance or your general energy, yeah? Now, I am filming outside because the um, energy is amazing out here today, yeah? So you might occasionally hear some background noise, you know, occasional car driving class, lots of birds singing at the moment, I have to say. So yeah. Now I do have some incense burn burning, so I've got some frankincense, which is all about worth, your worth. And uh, I've got some beautiful crystals working with it. So hematite for protection. Got my uh, rose quartz angel, uh, moonstone, got crystal uh, clear quartz for uh, amplifying up the energies, yeah. Uh, and I've got Citrine for success and Jade for good luck. All right, we pulled this one. Just so beautiful. What it says, Gemini, is it is a time to reflect on what really matters. Ultimately, this is love, peace, and happiness. If, and you can only find these within yourself. When there is peace and love in your heart, there will be peace and love in your world. Or all your experiences are simply your own reflection. So true. So true. All right. So if you've been worrying about your uh, finances or your life path, life purpose, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the life purpose deck. And let's see what you need to know, Gemini, for May. You pulled two here. So you've got the builder card, which is all about um, you gain a deep sense of accomplishment by uh, building things, which is really about creating things, yeah, creating things from nothing often. Uh, for guys, it can be physically building things, yeah. Um, yeah, I love that. I love that card. It's all about innovation. It's one of the, my most favourite things to do, I don't know about you. Um, love to hear your feedback in the comments below, yeah. Uh, you've also pulled time to decide. So if you're thinking about changing your career path, life purpose, um, it's about getting really clear about it about what it is that you want, but listening to your heart space, yeah? When you do that, you align to what truly lights you up, makes you joyful. All right, what else does Gemini need to know? Need some clear guidance, please. This one here wants to come out. Mm -hmm. You pulled the leadership card. So take charge of the situation. So if you're in a job already, an existing role, it's about stepping up a bit more, yeah, particularly with the people around you. Um, if you're in your own business, it's about taking charge, goal setting, getting really clear about what it is that you want to achieve. The message I'm getting here is don't dream too small. Make some big goals, yeah, big goals. Often the way I do it is they've got a whiteboard, yeah, and I just write them up on a whiteboard. Uh, you've also pulled the author card. So if you've been thinking around, about writing a book or some sort of publication, now is a good time. I often think everybody's got a book inside them, yeah. You've also pulled the study card. So if you're thinking about life per path, life purpose, and you're not really sure, it's saying basically to do some research, yeah, because it's going to help you gain more confidence and clarity about what it is that you want to do. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, Goddess Guidance deck next. To say, uh, I have got my most favourite decks out for you today. This is one of them. All right, what does Gemini need to know? Mm. All right, so first up, you've pulled Diana, focused intention. So it's about getting really clear about what it is that you want to achieve. The message I'm getting here is this is about your uh, life path, life purpose, yeah? So when you set your ideas and your goals on something, if you keep taking those steps towards them, you're going to reach and hit your mark, yeah? Yeah? 
You've also pulled Freya. So it's about being bold, yeah, taking risks, taking a leap of faith, going after what it is that you want. It's sitting right under the builder card, by the way. So if you've been uh, thinking of starting something new, particularly in terms of business, uh, the message is that you are divinely protected. Uh, you've also pulled Damara, guiding children. So part of your life work, life path can be about helping children in terms of healing, counselling. Um, it can also be your own children as well, being a model for them. Someone else's. Mm, yeah. If you've been worrying, stop worrying, Gemini. You've got the peace card, you've got Irene. So if you've been having some issues in your life, um, I'm getting the message. If you have been having some legal issues, particularly for those of you going through a separation and divorce, that uh, it's going to be resolved, yeah? Put your faith and trust in your angels and just give it to them, yeah? Um, everything's going to be working out fine, particularly if you're going through challenges. It's also sitting under the leadership card. So perhaps when you take more of a control of a situation, step up and express what it is you need to express to people around you, particularly those that are trying to unfairly take advantage of you. Stand your ground. Be bold. It's not going to apply to everybody, but it's going to apply to some of you. Be bold. Put healthy boundaries in place, yeah. Um, you're going to have much better resolution when you do that. You've also put Pearl of Divine Passion. It is sitting under the author card, yeah. So it's about tapping into what is your passion, what lights you up, um, having more fun, more adventure in your life, yeah. Um, following your heart's desire. All right, I'm going to pull you one more. Particularly if it's about writing a book. <laughs> Don't hold yourself back. Oh, yeah. You pulled nematoma, sacred space. So um, this is all about creating a sacred space in your home or visiting somewhere that you feel spiritually connected to. And this is often about balance, letting go of anxieties. It's also about talking to your angels and seeking advice, getting clarity and um, that clarity around what it is that you want to bring into your life, particularly if it's abundance is the message I'm getting. could be love, but mostly overarchingly, right, I'm feeling it. The message I'm getting is it's about your abundance and your wealth. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Crystal Oracle deck. Right, what does Gemini need to know in May? Mm. Under Diana, focused intent. We've just talked about clarity, yeah? Tanzanite, you've got more clarity coming, yeah? You just need to take that quiet time out for self to tap into it. Got to quiet and quieten. Is that the word? Yeah, your mind. Um, particularly if your thoughts have been racing or your emotions have been a bit overwhelming. Take that quiet time just to tap into what it is that you want. Beautiful. All right. Okay, this is interesting. This also came out for uh, Taurus, Petrified Wood Ancestors. It is sitting under the Builder card and it is sitting under Be Bold. So. The message I'm getting is that you have everything within you to follow up with whatever life path, life purpose you want to take. Yeah, you're divinely supported also by your ancestors. They're cheering you on from the sidelines. They are. Um, the other meaning of the ancestors is you can have past life stuff coming up, but I don't see a lot of reflection in terms of your reading of that, in terms of your emotions. Um, you can also come into this world with divine knowledge from your ancestors. Yeah, So you have the ability to share that knowledge with the world. Should you choose to, um, you can often do that through any type of creative medium as well as the spiritual teaching. Oh, yeah. Because right next to that, you've got the Ancient Wisdom Crystal Master Teacher card in this deck. So you've come through this world with an inner knowing of stuff. You go, I don't know how I know that, but I just know it, yeah. Trust your intuition and guidance on that and your, seven, your crown chakra, yeah, your connection to spirituality. It's also sitting under guiding children, so... Your life path, life purpose, if it's to help children, um, you have that inner knowledge to do so, yeah? Um, that you've got to decide to do it. You've got to choose to do it. Right. Mm. You've also pulled fluorite. It's learning. But interestingly enough, you've got, it's sitting below the leadership card and it's also sitting below peace, yeah? So... 
The message I'm getting is that in order to step into a leadership role in terms of career, if you're doing the nine to five, I'm in a career kind of role, um, there's some further learning to be done that's going to enhance your ability to step into those roles, yeah, so that you can truly feel more confident. Um, and in terms of peace, there could be some learning that you need to do that's only going to come to you in a quiet space, right, in terms of challenges and experiences that you're going through right now. Um, they're always a blessing, right? It's always about looking at, at it and going, what is it about this situation that I need to know about myself so one, I can avoid it in the future or clean up my stuff, yeah, uh, so that I can walk into life more empowered and stronger in the future. All right. What else does Gemini need to know in May? Hmm, holding on to it. A clear message, please. Hmm. Is that? Okay. You pulled fairy stone fertility. Uh, this is not about having a baby, by the way. <laughs> For those of you wanting to have a baby. This is about your projects and your ideas. They're divinely blessed at this time, so go for it. Um, hilariously sitting under the author card, dare I say, uh, as well as divine passion, listening to your heart's desires. Yeah, when you do that, your projects will be blessed. Mm. And uh, you've just pulled selenite, spiritual awakening. It's sitting under the sacred space card. Yeah, let me pull it up. You pulled these two up together, right? So it's about it's about coming more into your spirituality, tapping into it more, perhaps seeking guidance from your angels. Just know that when you do that, your, your vibration is going to rise, yeah? Absolutely. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to pull you some specific guidance from the Energy Oracle deck. Let's see what comes up for you, Gemini. Just say the amazing. The energy out here today is amazing. I don't know if you can feel it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've got goosebumps for you, really. Um, you've got Diana focused intent, yeah, followed by clarity. So when you put those two things together about what it is you want to achieve and bring, draw to you, you've got cornucopia coming. So cornucopia is success on all levels in May, right? It's uh, love, romance, family life, friendship, wealth, abundance, success, yeah? You've got to take action. You're going to take action towards your dreams. Keep working at it one step at a time. Just know when you do that that your effort is enough. Mm -hmm. Wow. You pulled uh, the healer of the ages. So this is uh, a couple of meanings to this. It is sitting under your ancestor card. Um, it is sitting under the builder card. So if you've thought about becoming a healer of some type, energy spiritual healer, you are supported in that. You have to be bold and go for it. Um, it also means that you're drawing to you if you need, need some sort of healing. I'm not seeing overarchingly a lot of messages here that you need a lot of healing, but there might be a little bit. It's uh, either seeking out a healer of the ages to help you with that, or you're drawing one to you. In fact, you've also got the Ancient Wisdom Crystal card. It leads me to believe probably that you are the healer, but right next to that, okay is the broken heart card. So if you've been going through some relationship difficulties, if you've had some um, romances in the past that have dented your heart space, do take that time to heal it before you step into the next relationship. Yeah, because um, it's just going to bring you back to a place of wholeness. Don't hold on to the past stuff. Yeah, it's gone. Learn the lessons in it because you've also got the learning card, which is quite close to that. Uh, often we have to take responsibility for how we showed up in relationships. When you do that, you get to clean up your own stuff, right? Um, it's not always about the other person. There's always stuff we have to clean up ourselves. And it's also sitting under ancient wisdom. So the message I'm getting is that if you have repeating patterns in your relationships that keep tripping you up, it's karmic. It's from your past. It's from the way that you've witnessed and modeled what's going on in your own family. And... Uh, between your own parents and your own caregivers and how they've demonstrated how to model relationships and uh, often that comes from their ancestors before that comes right down the line, yeah? 
stops with you if you so choose to sort that stuff out figure out what it is sometimes we do it subconsciously not even aware of it because it is so deep yeah digging those things out and so you can you can have a beautiful love relationship not going to apply to everybody because the message i'm getting is some of you've already cleaned up your stuff yeah just some of you mm -hmm. and if you want some guidance on how to do that i have released which you would have seen in some of my other videos a four-part video series on how to attract a soulmate but it covers all of those things in there in terms of knowing what your relationship attachment type is and how they're formed and once you know that you can actually change your relationship type um, so you don't keep tripping yourself up in love yeah it also covers um, how to set healthy boundaries with people particularly if you've got weak boundaries and all sorts of things yeah so um, you can check that out on my Vimeo channel I will actually pop the link in the description box below for you all right You've also pulled the thinking woman card so if you're a woman this is you this is about stepping out of your emotions this month so much focusing more on your rational side brain taking action making strategies about how you're going to bring more wealth and abundance into your life particularly with your projects and your ideas for guys this could be you connecting with the thinking woman in terms of mentorship around helping you achieve your goals perhaps as a business partner um, it could also be your partner your spouse um, seeking their support and guidance particularly around financial matters um, the message I'm getting just in case they're a bit better at budgeting than you are um, yeah hmm. okay you've pulled your uh, you've pulled the, your third chakra which is your uh, life force energy so it's Archangel Shamiel it means that you're going to have enough energy to cope with anything that you need to cope with this month. Do be protective of it. Um, I'm not seeing a lot here that says that you need to clean up any of your, emo your emotional stuff apart from your heart space for some of you. Um, just know that you're going to have enough energy in terms of life force energy this month to follow your dreams, your goals, your passions. All right, pull you one more. Mm. very important to know you've got the yin and the yang card right but it's sitting under all of your spirituality so in terms of your spirituality you need to be in your yin cycle which is all about receiving more your feminine than your masculine energy so your feminine energy is your this applies with men and women yeah your feminine energy is your emotions but it's also your creative your innovation side now if you want to tap into that and you're not sure how you can do that easily by a couple of things. You can start doing some creative activities that you used to do um, before, like painting, drawing, um, anything really that's creative for you. It could be music. The other way to tap into yin energy is to get out into nature and connect with nature and Mother Earth to balance your yin and your yang, your masculine and your feminine energies. It's also about knowing when to be in your yang energy, right? When to take action towards your goals and dreams, um, balancing the two. But I do say that with a clause, um, the fact that it's sitting under sacred space and also clearing out uh, your spiritual awakening, yeah, um, it's about taking that time also for quiet time. All right, I'm going to pull you one card from the Kunyin deck. Uh, what does Gemini need to know? Oh yeah. Pulled Mother Fear. Mother Fear is all about protection, divine protection. I'm also going to pull you one from the, the Rumi Oracle deck by Alana Fark Fairchild. One of my favourite decks. Um, mm. Pulled Commitment, which is all about listening to your heart space. Alright, I'll we'll have a look at the Rumi one first, which is Mother Fears. I provide the most beautiful guidance. All right, let me pull it up one more time so you can see. So basically, look at all the hands, hands coming to help. And what it says, Gemini, is Mother Fierce is your guardian. Nothing can penetrate the passionate fire of her fearless love. Your safety is assured, beloved. In the midst of any apparent challenge or threat, no matter how frightening it may seem, 
And no matter how insecure you may feel about taking a step on your spiritual path into more power, know that you are safe, you are protected, you are loved. Beloved, you have been growing spiritually and sometimes this evokes responses from others. The responses may be loving and affirming, encouraging and validating. Many will choose to be inspired by your growth. Sometimes lower vibrational responses will arise, which might be fearful, insecure, jealous or angry. These responses arise so that they can be healed. The healing for you is in how to choose to allow yourself to shine and not be diminished by the healing process of another. For the other, their healing is in the journey and you have offered them a great service. Know that you do not need to be afraid, nor do you need to hold yourself back out of fear. There is nothing that escapes the notice of the beloved mother, Kun Yin, as the divine mother of fierce compassion and protection. She sees all, she knows all, she blesses all. She can lift you beyond fear and threat, beloved, into a place of unity with divine love. I'm laughing because the birds are arcing up. <laughs> Oh, that secures you against any would-be threat and delivers you into peace. For you to benefit the most from her protection, you need to trust in her light and realize that she is shining through your own inner light. She and you are one in truth. From this perspective, you can realize that you always have the right to say no to the energy of fear and doubt that seeks to cause you harm. Harm comes from a lower vibration. It does not need to be feared, but it does need to respond to with assertiveness and compassion. Kun Yin now helps you to retain your inner peace in the face of any lower vibrational energy so you can be kind and accepting of the divine essence in all existence, no matter how heavily veiled that divinity appears to be, and yet also remain assertive that only unconditionally loving vibrations are welcome in your energy field. All about setting healthy boundaries with people. All right. There is actually a healing practice. Let's do it, huh? It says, sit comfortably and say aloud. I call upon the unconditional love and divine protection of Queen Yin and the fierce mother now. Perceive or intend there is a huge ring of fire in which the beautiful goddess, seated in a meditative pose, with many arms fanning wide and with many all-seeing faces. She sees, protects and blesses in all directions. Imagine that her heart chakra burns with peaceful fire in the centre of her being and you can step into her heart now. Imagine any fear or threat or insecurity or attack being burned away in the brightness of her heart. Feel the peace within her heart and the peace within you. Say aloud. I surrender into the heart light and protection of the Divine Mother, fierce with love and compassion. No harm can penetrate her peace. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum. And there's an affirmation and what it says is, Take me into your heart, beloved Kun Yin, fierce with love where the pure fire of peace burns eternally. May I be blessed with peace and protection now and always. May I feel the loving protection of your consciousness within my own heart. Om Shanti, beloved, Om Mani, Padme Hum. Oh my God, so beautiful. God, so blessed with protection. So just know, anything coming at you this month, right, you are divinely protected, filled with people. You will have that sense of peace. But you do need to be assertive with people. All right. Let's have a look at the roomy card, which is uh, Commitment. Very beautiful. Okay. What it says, Gemini, is the awakened heart is like a lantern. Keep it sheltered from the turbulence of the winds of desire. Rumi. We are candles lit by one flame. The breath of life does not extinguish us. On the contrary, it only serves our flame to blaze brighter. Here in the temple of one love, there is no flickering or smoke to our flame. We are natural in our purpose simply to bring the warmth and light of love to life. We dance, though we are stillness. We are on fire, though we do not burn. We have a cockatoo that is just going off in the background. It's in the room. <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? That's a cockatoo. 
There is a flame that must be safeguarded. In truth, it can never be extinguished. It is the light that never goes out, even with such enduring power. Our recognition and respect of this flame is essential to human development. The flame is holy and lies within each human heart. When the flame is recognised for its worth, it ceases to flicker and smoke and becomes very still. In the stillness, the light can fulfil its destiny to shine brightly so as to reveal every path absolutely clear and without wavering in the fluctuations of fear and attachment. Desire does not need to have hindrance on the path. It can show us our passions and help us find our purpose. However, the attachment that can come with the desire, the belief that it can only be satiated with one particular person, one set of circumstances, can cause us to stop looking at what the light is revealing to us, the way forward on our path in the here and now, and instead try to forcibly conjure the shadows to become what we imagine they should be. When we stop seeing life as it is, showing up for us in every moment and engaging with it, engaging with it as it is, we become careless with the light of our heart. Our huffing and puffing to force what does not need to be forced can cause our heart light to flicker. This can make our way seem uncertain and doubts can crowd in upon us as the light is compromised in its purpose. We forget to trust in what is because we get caught up in attachment and fear surrounding our desires. Rather than letting life move us, we try to move life. There is a way forward on your life path that needs to be seen by you. It will be helpful for you to have that clarity and certainty. Oh my goodness, let me pull something up for you. <laughs> Your whole reading's been about, like, can you see that? Yeah, clarity, about focused intent. Let me pull this up. These two are right below and above each other. Um, yeah. It would be helpful for you to have that clarity and that certainty. You might have caught a glimpse of it, but be doubting your vision or yourself. This oracle comes as a reminder to you, don't doubt. What you are feeling deep within is the passionate love of your heart light. It's true, it is real. You're being led to it by the progress of life itself. You must trust it. I'm going to pull one more up, please. Well, divine passion, trust in your heart's desire. Yeah. You must trust in this, even if it seems at times though you're being led away from your vision. Life operates according to the genius that is beyond linear approach. It is to be trusted rather than to be understood. There is enough challenge in the personal transformation being asked of you to simply take the steps. That is more than enough. You do not have to create or control the terrain or determine the map for the journey. You simply need to take each step as it presents itself to you in each moment. Don't let fear that your desire won't manifest cause you to try to bend life to your will. It is an unnecessary battle and one that will not serve your soul here. Instead, just show up, be present. Attend to what is before you in each moment and trust yourself. Let the light of your heart take you into serenity and it will bring you the balm of solid core of comfort, even when the world shifts and changes according to the workings of divine will. As you move along your life journey step by step, that divine will is moving too, shining one into fulfillment of your destiny. Life is not working at cross purposes with you. Far from it, it is a co-conspirator with your heart. Come back to the stillness of the love within and know your heart light to be what it is reliable and true showing you the way even now in peace and stillness oh my god how beautiful all right to finish off and crown your reading gemini there's a sacred honoring ritual and what it says is if you can light a candle please do so now if you want to pause this video and go light a candle yeah you can go and do that yeah. if that's not practical simply visualize or imagine a flame in your mind's eye if you cannot do that, then simply say, I call upon the sacred flame of divine love now. And say aloud, the light of my heart does not waver. It is fixed by the will of the divine and lit by the greatest flame, forever alight in the temple of one love. Rumi, who safeguards the sacred flame of love, together may we bear serene witness to the revelations of this light within, and the way always be shown pure and true and the courage to act when needed and the patience to best 
observe love is found within our hearts, so be it. You have finished your sacred honouring ritual. If you did light a candle, you can leave it burning for a time. Make sure you stick with my video. Don't want to set the house alight. No. Or simply with reverence, extinguish it. Beautiful. All right, Gemini. If you like this reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, I'm doing them in May for a ride. You can get a 30-minute pre-recorded reading with me. Tune to your own energy and circumstances for just $50. Link is on this video and down below, yeah? Uh, and uh, for now, much love, much light. Namaste.